Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, if you just happen to be passing by, or if you fell asleep with uh, the, the auto play button on, welcome to the channel. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button uh, if you like Nintendo based content or if you like general discussions. I try to do them often. So I just wanted to make a little quick video, uh, quick ish, about something that you know, something that's been in my mind for a while, which is Nintendo's online. And yes, I know it merits quite the amount of booze, uh, but I just wanted to give my opinion on Nintendo's whole plan, quote unquote, to handle their online issue. If you do have their online service, then the situation for it should be fairly familiar, which is it needs a lot of work is it's not good and to make you pay for it uh nintendo no but it's very fascinating to me what information they have about it already so there was an investor q a that was done i think it was back on was it february the 8th or 7th i can't remember it doesn't matter none of this matters nintendo was asked about the popularity of nintendo switch online uh as far as after smash brothers was coming out which smash brothers 12 million units sold in like under two months. It's insanity. It's clear with 12 million being sold, 12 million being sold, and that's not counting for like right now. Your online needs to be like set and in place. What gets me is Nintendo, this, this is what Fruikara said as far as the whole online service, because Nintendo didn't really, they didn't really talk about it. They didn't really hit on it. They just kind of, it's kind of in passing. But he, you know, quote, uh, it is critical that these members want to continue using the service for a long time rather than letting it expire. And for what, for that, we need to build a relationship with consumers and enrich content and enrich the content, he said. So what he was talking about is everyone, including me, has the shorter like on a month by month basis. So what will make us switch? First thing is let, let's talk about the stuff that's to me is out of Nintendo's hands. People have issues with commitment. You can take from that what you will to some of you. It's like, hmm, what does he mean? And then to a lot of you, it's like, I know exactly what he means because I'm one of them. Uh, people have issues with commitment and it's something that you really can't do anything about. It's just like how contracts used to be the big thing with cell phone carriers. And over time, you know, pay as you go has become, you know, pretty much the what runs all because nobody wants to be committed or just like with like TV service to so the people to or at least the older generation, honestly that still uses cable because I don't use it. I only watch it because my, you know, my parents have it and, you know, cable's dying. So a month by month is the way to go. And the fact that we all live paycheck to paycheck, us that aren't balling, oof, boy, that hurts when I say that. <laughs> Yeah, for, for the, but those of us that are balling, it's imperative if we're going to enjoy anything like this, that we need to be able to kill it and save our coins at any time that we need to. Uh, but say if you really just have to get us the price point when you take out all features and issues, if you just purely just think about the price point uh, and for what it does compared to its competitors, price point is very good. The quality is just piss poor though. There's so many things that need to be added and need to be tweaked and need to be fixed. Um, you know, somebody, or at least one of the YouTubers that I follow mentioned like, oh, you don't know how online service works. Uh, yeah, to a certain degree, with the whole lag issue with Smash Ultimate and the whole lag issue that you see with like Splatoon, uh, he mentioned to me that, you know, you won't be able to see X, Y, and Z happen in Splatoon. I never really had those issues, but I do get I do get what he means about you're able to hide lag better in Splatoon 2. But it's just really odd to me that Splatoon, it just it doesn't seem as bad. It's just it's really like when you think about the packets of data being sent to and from like multiple people at once versus a because I'll have bad lag, even if it's a one on one. Like no 
like no animations, no items, anything like that, just flat surface. Even then, and yeah, with command inputs and all that stuff, it has to be spot on, but it just, I, I feel like it could just be better. Now, I agree, and I, I will say that, you know, another thing that's out of Nintendo's hands is some people are just gonna have crap connections, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is more of a, like, compared to other fighting games, like fighting, I'm using air quotes when I think about Smash as a fighting game, because there's a lot of tryhards that, that are on it. Compared to other fighting games, it makes a lot of sense to me, because people that are really serious about fighting games, like big tournament-style fighting games, like, they'll try to, they'll, they'll work on getting a better connection, so. I can, I can see that and the casual person is not going to have like the amazing connection but I still feel like there's something going on with Nintendo to where it just it doesn't seem good like there's other online stuff that I've played to where like with through the the service it just I, it mattered and it's just I, I don't know I can't I can't say that Nintendo is exonerated from you know just their the issues with their lag yeah, it's 100% tr true that a lot of people out there are going to have garbage connections. A very casual audience is going to have garbage connections, and they don't really invest in it. But what I propose as an intermediary to try to bridge the gap to get to a better quality is to at least put a, a an icon when you're going to put when you're going to play with people on, against people online. There needs to be an icon. Uh, there needs to be an option to choose what random player you fight online like yeah it'll make matchmaking probably take a bit longer but compared to because i i'll take a loss but i will say sometimes it really sucks when you lose because it's just the lag is so bad it just it sucks you know it's like man i can easily dodge this but you can't do anything because it's just it's just freezing it's it sucks but but um one way to circumvent that, like I said, is you get to see how good and bad people's connections are. And the fl on the flip side of that, not only will you be able to see and make a better choice on who you go against to, to make a better experience, it will low-key tell people, hey, your connection's garbage. You might want to invest in making a better connection. And by letting them know that, because they're not going to know. Even I wouldn't know because there's no indicator letting me know if my connection sucks or not. Only reason I know my connection doesn't suck is every time I fight somebody with a good connection, it's a good connection and it's a good, it's a good match. It's simple as that. But most of the time, not all the time, sometimes it'll just mess up and like, oh, okay. But for the most part, I'm gonna say that much. So adding that indicator would be a phenomenal start. Uh, Another thing that I would add to, there's a bunch of small, stupid stuff that Nintendo could easily add for the online service. Like, my God, put some music in the eShop. Am I going to, to die? Or actually, you know, I don't want to get demonetized. Uh, am I going to game end because uh, there's no uh, music in the eShop? No. Put that Wii mute. Put the Wii eShop music in there. Can you imagine how good that would sound? Just the nostalgia alone off of it. Matter of fact, it sounds so good, I'm just gonna let it play in the background. That's that's something that really needs to be added. Another thing that needs to be added to is themes. Like, are you kidding me? You have a black theme and a white theme. We are two years into the Switch now. We're two years in and Nintendo has not added themes. Something as basic and simple as themes. Are you kidding me? That actually bothers me. It, should, it shouldn't, because it's just some just artwork or whatever, but people love personalization. Why do you think you have so many of the different, like the pro control color schemes? Why do you think, why do you offer like so many different color Joy-Cons? Could people like personalization? I know Nintendo's aware that people have been modifying their Switches to have different aesthetics to them. Come on, man. People like to personalize stuff and make it their own. At the themes, I do like that black saves battery and black, black is beautiful, but I need some themes. Can I get a Bayonetta themed uh, background? Can I get a, a Mario Odyssey background? Can I get a Smash Ultimate background? Splatoon 2, just, I mean, the list goes on. There's so many great backgrounds and, you know, if Nintendo was, you know, really gracious, they could contract some artists just like they contracted an artist to do the Smash Muriel, uh, Muriel, 
<laughs> Muriel. Muriel. Can't say it right for some reason. <laughs> you can easily do that, but for some reason they just, you know, they just won't. But yeah, themes, just customization. God, there's so much more that needs to be added to it. The SNES games, what the hell happened to that? Like, it was in the data. Put those stupid games on there. Are you kidding me? I like the NES games. I really do. A lot of those are classics. They're classics. But come on. Like, do you think people are really coming, buying your online service so they can just play old NES games? As great as those games are, that's really stupid. You need to have Game Boy games on there by, by as long as it's been up. You know, even, yeah, it's September, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's not that long. But seriously. You're having an issue with it. Gee, I wonder why that's going to be part of it. SNES games, your subscriptions would go up if you had those SNES games on there. You put Game Boy games on there as well. If you want this service to thrive, you need more games on there. You need more, and you have a stupidly massive library. It shouldn't take this long. I get what you're thinking, Nintendo. Well. I like to think that I do. I get what you're thinking. You really want to turn this into just a lifelong service and you just want to trickle it out. That's why you'll get like two new games every month, which is, I'm not going to lie, that it's like it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. It's a trickle that just you know, it eats at my soul. But <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. And if you want people to sign up for a 12 month versus month to month, you need to get on your J-O-B. This direct that just happened, you easily should have had SNES games be announced for it. I mean, again, it was in the code. This don't need to be something that needs to be pushed back. This is something that needs to be rolled out now if you want your subscriptions to be longer. Or maybe you don't care. I don't know. Or maybe you're doing Nintendo things, which <sighs> if you're doing Nintendo things, if you if you're doing it, please stop. Uh, but anyway, so much stuff that, that could be added to it and, and can be rectified. But I think that actually, along with the themes and stuff, that actually bothers me the most. It, it's just, it's a shame, really. It, it's it's a shame that you didn't mention that or you didn't add to it. But I, I find it hilarious. It's like, yeah, we need to do something about this. Um, we need to, to grow the relationship you're not going to if you just if they remember that special feature option that they mentioned back in September when they were saying, hey, guys, you're going to be paying for online from now on. Where is that at? Haven't seen no hide nor hair of that. I feel like you know what you need to do. I don't know much about Furukawa, but I, I'd like to believe, you know, as much of a cherry boy as he looks, you know, nothing against him. But as much as as much as your appearance comes off to me. I think you know what you need to do. Also, get rid of that stupid Nintendo app, my God, and put voice chat because it is 2019. This is the most futuristic year that we've ever lived in because it's the present. And 2020 is next year. 2020 sounds like we should have, be having flying cars and, and sentient robots, which, oh my God, I'm actually low-key kind of scared of that. Uh, but 2020 is is next year and this is what you got to offer for an online service it's i love you nintendo the fact that i have most of my videos about you nintendo i love you but stop this needs to stop now this online service fix it this is this is garbage you can do better this Nintendo. I know you can. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this lengthy little rant. Uh, if you did enjoy it, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You know, like, comment, share wherever you share things. Hit that dislike button twice if you happen to dislike it. There's been some problems with the dislike button. So make sure if you dislike it, just hit it twice just to make sure. So I really know that you dislike it. Um, if you want to support the channel, uh, lovelies, then feel free to hit my Patreon. Tiers start as low as like a dollar a month and your patronage is greatly appreciated. Now, if you can't afford it, and I just, I feel like I just have to say it. If you can't afford it, don't worry about it. 
I appreciate it all the same. I just I don't want you to be in a bad situation or anything because you're trying to give it to you know a random stranger online. But I genuinely appreciate you from the bottom of my heart all the same. Uh, or if you just don't want to do anything like that, completely fine. But you still want to support and you want to get yourself something nice. Threadiverse.com get you some amazing independent artist based apparel these are some fantastic artists on here uh sale going on so you can get yourself a nice shirt nice tank top you know whatever the case may be i think you'll like something that you get off there feel free to send it in and i'll be glad to post it just like with the patreons uh i will shout you out for the fact that you would do something like that but you know with that said with the house cleaning out of the way um thank you for hanging out and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> like boy if you don't fix that online subscription service i'm gonna tan your heart